Good afternoon to you, Tony Walker 23 here, and you are watching youtube.com slash Tony Walker 23. Flashlight video for you, long time no see. It's been, been probably, uh, let's see, it's probably been three years, four years, three or four years since I bought a new Surefire flashlight, I think. Uh, with the exception of this little uh, less than $20 keychain light that they sold uh, on Black Friday. Uh, but other than that, as far as their illumination tools goes, uh, this is the first, uh, you know, Surefire light that I've had since the days of, you know, uh, probably the 500 lumen Defender light. So, um, there's just something special about a Surefire flashlight that, can, that uses only one battery and fits in the palm of your hand. You know, this is the this is the only for a long time. This EB1 backup with a tactical uh, tail cap with a E1D Defender head. There's a video about that. Um, this has been the only Surefire light I've had and used for probably the last three years. And um, we saw this in a store in a town called Greenville, a bigger town about 40, 30, 45 minutes from where I live. And I saw it and its little brother. I say little brother, I saw the little cousin would probably be a better way to put it. And I just thought, man, look at that cute little flashlight. That would be so great to have. So I uh, found it on sale online, had, a, had some points and codes and stuff to use. And so I uh, was able to, to get this right here. Um, the only thing, well, let me say, I, hasn't, I haven't said what it is first, have I? So this is a Surefire E1B backup. It is a dual output LED flashlight that features not a TIRR optic that is concentrated in one narrow beam, but a wide max vision beam. Uh, has an ANSI uh, F1L standard rating of 86 meters. It comes with one CR123A uh, battery with a 10 year shelf life. It has the max vision beam compared to the um, the narrow TIR optic that you know, most people would be more familiar with if you've had a Surefire light. The two specs over here comes on high first, low second. I wish they would reverse that. I emailed tech support, asked them if they could reprogram one. They said no. Um, if it was low then high, this would be the perfect EDC light. But it's not meant for EDC. It's meant for... Um, agencies who need their life saved at a moment's notice or need to save lives at a moment's notice um so it's high for, high first low second 400 lumens first five lumens second one and a quarter hours on high and then 50 hours on low surefire products seem to be coming in this stuff that hangs on a peg like something you'd see at a checkout counter instead of the traditional what i was used to when i was younger the uh, box within a box that made it more like opening a present, like an experience. Now it's just kind of, you know, these little clamshell packagings. Um, you can pause it and read these things. I'll just slowly go over that so you can see it. All right, there's that. You can see that it comes with a two-way pocket clip, which Surefire is going to for most of their lights. The tactician does not have that, which I think is, you know, wish it had an option but you can see you know if this was a blue jean pant pocket or something like that and you put the clip down as far as it would go you would only have just a little bit just the the just the smallest little part of the tail cap poking up from your jacket pocket or pant pocket or something like that so the nice two-way tail cap or excuse me the nice two-way uh, clip um Instead of the older, you know, the older one cell lights used to come with that little one clip like you'd put on the bill of your hat or something. And uh, I've got a video on there about changing those tail caps. Just r reminded me of that. But because it is the two-way clip, you can still put it on your, your hat like that. So if you got your hat, here's your head, here's your eyeballs, and, you know, it can look whichever way you're looking. And if you want to uh, wear it uh, inside your blue jeans jacket or whatever it's got the two-way clip it does have the hole in the top of the clip for a lanyard attachment point you've got a split ring you want to put right there um, but it does make it aggravating with the split ring right there if you're also putting it uh, in your pants pocket um, all right so uh, you can see the the first backup just had this these nice smooth finish nice smooth finish a uh, little uh, flutes or fluting or whatever you call these little lines machined in um they went a different route with the backup multi uh, max vision mv 
Um, it has uh, the executive series lights that have this pattern machined into it. It's got that feel to it. Um, you can see tail cap right here. It is momentary and clicky. So uh, high first, low second. I'll do momentary. High, low. Well, should have been low. High, high, low. High, low. High, low. High, low. I have noticed that a few times it didn't go into low mode as predictably as I'd want it. Um, but I guess if this is meant to save lives, you want high to be predictable, not low to be predictable. So high, low. And you can hear the click. So momentary. And clicky. Alright, so I'll leave it on low. And then I'll put this on low. So these are both rated at 5 lumens. Um, a one cell defender head on a backup body. I know that's a little bit out of the ordinary. But you got a one cell defender head over here on the left. 5 lumens. And you've got the Max Vision 5 lumens uh, backup MV on the right. And I know that it, the camera is not going to do it justice. Um, but in trust me with my own eyes um this right here is a nice tight it's obvious where the light ends this right here is going out now you can probably see on the camera the well-defined hot spot but the light is going you know, almost maybe about a foot out and i'm only like two feet from the standing looking down at my desk um put it on high so there's a high uh, max vision. Here's a high TIR. And you can see the spill on here is uh, there's a well defined line between the hot spot and the spill. Over here, the camera is making it more noticeable, but from a human eye, it's just one big bright circle. All right, so, uh, so that is uh, the Surefire. E1B backup max vision with the momentary and uh, click activation, high first, low second. So if you want to get to low, like a perfect EDC light would, uh, I would do um, uh, momentary high real fast and then click on low. So that's how you get to it. If you wake up in the middle of the night, don't want to wake up everybody, you know, you palm it and take it out and hope that it went to low and not high and blind everyone. Um, so that is the, uh, the Surefire E1B backup with the new Max Vision Beam running on one CR123A battery with a 10-year shelf life from Surefire featuring a high output of 400 lumens and a low output of 5 lumens with a two-way pocket clip and the, um, the good grippy uh, tail cap and body. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say about this light, but I don't think there is. But it's the, the perfect little light. My favorite Surefire light of all time, probably, and I, I no longer have it, um, but the Surefire E1L Outdoorsman that was just the that is the perfect little light it's about the same size as this it's low first then high second but it would realistically it would be more like low medium with no high you say well is that good or bad for an edc light i would say that's good because that medium mode is going to give you a longer output so this is five lumens and 400 lumens whereas that um, those e1l outdoorsmans uh, sometimes you'll still see on eBay an, an E2L outdoorsman, uh, but people really trying to get those E1L outdoorsman lights. And uh, those outdoorsman's lights, the high wasn't all that high, relatively speaking, but it would last for a very long time. Um, and it came in that beautiful greenish, grayish, uh, natural anodized color. Um, so if, if, you, if you're familiar with those E1Es or those E1Ls, that uh, is all the rage on the Candle Power forums and on eBay by the price people pay for them. Um, this may be a good alternative that you can get uh, for a good price compared to those lights. 
and um, and it's a bright little light. The first Surefire light I ever had was probably 2012, I think it was, and two batteries had a high output of 200 lumens. And here we are today, um, one battery gets you an output of 400 lumens. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to answer those. They are moderated, so uh, if it doesn't pop up right away, just wait for me to give it a little click of approval. Um, if you visit the website, PreacherTony.com, you can see all the different ways to get in touch with me. You can do that at PreacherTony.com, uh, and then it go to the bottom. You'll see the Facebook link, the Twitter link, the YouTube link, the iTunes link, the email link, link and the phone number link. Um... So, yeah, all the ways to get in touch with me there. And, obviously, here on the YouTube channel, you can check out the uh, different videos. There's flashlights, there's knives, there's multi-tools, there's pocket tools, there's uh, Maxpedition uh, tactical covers, um, what I call the Maxpedition tactical Bible cover, uh, which is their EDC bag, um, uh, and all sorts of Bible studies, Bible reviews, um, um, all kind of various things for uh, sundry and diverse interest. So uh, check those out and like, share, subscribe, all those good things. And we will see you later. Bye-bye.